Today, in the season of Lent, let us reflect on the seventh station of the way of the cross. That is, Jesus falls the second time. Friends, according to the Holy Bible, on Thursday after the Passover feast, Jesus was arrested and he was taken to the different courts. First to the chief priest, then to Pilate, the governor of Jerusalem, then to Herod, the governor of Judea, and after so many trials and scourging, finally Jesus was sentenced to death and he was led to the Calvary Mount, the destination where he will be crucified. As part of the execution, Jesus had to carry the cross on which he will be crucified. After the Passover feast of the previous day, he had not eaten anything. Because of exhaustion, loss of blood, he is very tired and not able to walk. Jesus, disfigured and bloodied by our sins, fell under the weight of the cross a second time. But he did not stay down under the cross. He rose with the determination to finish his journey, to fulfill the mission of saving the mankind by dying on the cross. He knew he has to complete the new covenant he would establish in his death and resurrection. He gets up with the difficulty and continued to move to his destination, to his death silently. Now, let us reflect upon this station. First, we all fall down many times spiritually or worldly. Worldly, we may have faults. We may lose all our wealth. There can be bad health, illness, problems in our family, at workplace, financial issues. Our hopes may be shattered. Many things we did or started with optimism may fail. In all these situations, we should not give up. We should think it is not the end. Like Jesus, we have to rise from our fall. Now, let us think the spiritual side. As Christians, we are called to holiness. We are the children of God, the children of light. Always we have to live like the children of God. But we sin frequently. Every sin is a fall from the grace of God. We cannot lie fallen. We have to get up. We have to get up from our sins through repentance. Let us take two examples from the Bible. The examples of Judas, the one who betrayed Jesus, and Peter, one who denied Jesus publicly. The severity of the sins of both Judas and Peter are almost same. Then how they are different? Judas, when he realizes that Jesus is caught and is going to be killed, he loses hope and he thinks he is lost and with no more hope. He thinks there is no going back. He feels it is the end. He committed suicide by hanging himself on a tree. He never thought of repentance. He never thought of coming back. But Peter, he denied Jesus three times. When Jesus turned and looked at him, he realized his mistake and he went out and cried. He repented over his sin of denying Jesus. That is a coming back, a rising. Same way, we too have to rise and walk away from our sinful life. We should never think that I'm a sinner. How many times God will forgive me? How many times I confessed my sins? Will God forgive me every time? Our God is a loving God. God is ready to forgive us our sins when we repent. Let this season of Lent be a season of coming back, a season of repentance, a season of mending our ways. May Jesus, who carried our sins on the cross, help us to rise from our sins and may lead us to eternal life. Amen.